this story that is just exploding. Like you have this amazing newsletter, but my gosh, you are covering like some crazy, crazy stuff going on on the Hill. Yeah, it's the, the January 6th committee has certainly been a trip. Um, I, I've been covering Congress and House Republicans in particular, so it sort of made sense to yeah. segue to the crazies. But this committee, though, I, we were all criticizing the committee two months ago for not doing anything. Now, every day, it's just, just headlines left and right. I think we're going to be in for a very busy spring of blockbuster revelations, uh, yeah. which they've already sort of teased with little breadcrumbs here and there and yeah. various requests uh, for Ivanka Trump and Sean Hannity. Um, but it indicates they have a trove of text messages yeah. and they're getting these new documents from the National Archives. Mm -hmm. um, but the text messages in particular are just so good. Aren't and they and amazing? They show this there's an immediacy, there's yeah. an informal nature about them. It shows the extent of personal relationships between these players, just how close Sean Hannity was with people in the White House. Right. That was crazy. Sean Hannity giving Ke Kayleigh McEnany strategy advice for how to handle the communications effort from the to, White House. To push think. him away, Way, oh, push, push Donald Trump away from, away from the, the craziness. The election. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people out there aren't thinking, oh, hey, Sean Hannity, voice of reason. But Sean Hannity was, behind the scenes, the voice of reason. Yeah. And then that night he'd go on TV and talk like Trump. But, uh, I, I, David, the, the Republican Party, something is happening. You see these polls that show now only 38 percent first identify themselves as Trump supporters, 55, 56 percent say they're Republicans first. That's a huge change. And do we have the Lindsey Graham, by the way, do we have that Lindsey Graham clip <laughs> where, where Lindsey... <clears throat> I, anytime you have the one where he's being chased through the airport, that's a good one, too. I like that um, because he turns on a dime. But this one is Lindsay, where suddenly he's standing up to Donald Trump. And that is a good thing. Well, Here, here's Lindsay. He said, I stand with the police officers who protect our streets, federal courthouses in the United States Capitol against rioters. They deserve our respect and support. And I will not second guess the decisions they made under dire circumstances. All Americans are entitled to have a speedy trial in their day in court. But those who actively engage in violence for whatever political cause must be held accountable and not forgiven. He's talking like a Republican talks, right? But that hasn't been the case over the past six months. You've had people saying, oh, they were just tourists. You had Ron Johnson, a senator, saying, oh, I wasn't concerned at all. Well, they were beating the hell out of police officers with American flags. Now we're starting to hear <clears throat> Lindsey saying this yesterday or the day before, the guy from Missouri with a bone structure like bird, like a bird. Who's the guy? Who, Josh, Josh Hawley. Hawley. Josh Hawley. Exactly. With a bone I love structure like a bird? I, he's got <laughs> little bone structure like, <laughs> like a wow. bird. Yeah, like, we'll look say at that for the bone uh, structure. Well, no, just it's very show. delicate. Very delicate. Yeah, but anyway, I'm so glad people can answer that question. Yeah, uh, I'm so, a generalist. But any, you are a generalist. Uh, who, you made a bad career yeah, choice. Obviously. But anyway, uh, but anyway, what's happening with the Republican Party? There seems to be a shift, and I think Trump is sensing it. Well,